very embarrassing for talk about France in Africa or France getting kicked out of Africa. Very embarrassing for uh, Macron. And uh, he's, he's very upset. He's taking a lot of his anger out on, uh, on Wagner, on the Wagner group in Russia. But um, France is not wanted in, uh, no. in many places no. in Africa. And, uh, and it looks like Russia, Russia is, and, and China definitely is. That, that's the way it, it looks. Mali, Burkina Faso, those two countries come to mind, and, and more, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, and absolutely, and the Central African Republic, and the Central latest Republic, word, yeah. yeah, and the latest word is that Niger, which has up to now been, you know, one of the more reliable French allies, is starting to have doubts too, and that, you know, that the French are losing ground in all of these places, and of course, Macron and his acolytes say that this is all because of, you know, Russian information campaigns. It's not. The fact is, the French have long overstayed their welcome in all of these West African countries. They've basically run the financial system in these countries ever since they granted these countries independence. This is the point that Maloney was making, if you remember, some about you know, some years ago. But they have done, you know, with this franc that they created, um, that still operates in many of these countries. The countries have become increasingly disaffected against France. They went along with the French to a great extent during the Cold War because, well, they didn't want the Soviets there because the Soviets were communists and they didn't agree with the ideology of the, the Soviets and all that, all that. But now that that's ended and there's no Cold War any longer and now that there's alternatives to France, they're basically coming along and they're saying, we don't want you anymore, France, go away. And you're absolutely right. The French have seen this shadow empire that they've em operated in West Africa. It's disintegrating all around them and they don't know what to do. OK, so is, is this only unique to, to France? It's not unique to France. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, if you remember, Blinken <laughs> was in Africa. He was he did a tour. Um, this is after the great rock star Sergei Lavrov toured Africa. Macron has also tried to tour Africa, um, and the British, of course, have also got long histories of connections with Africa. They've all been trying hard to try to counter the Chinese and the Russians in these places, and. The fascinating thing is that they're not being listened to. The African leaders are turning their backs on them. So South Africa now has uh, exercises, naval exercises going on alongside China and Russia. Sudan is opening a Russian naval base. Of course, Djibouti already has a Chinese naval base. Ethiopia, which has basically sorted out its war in Tigray, uh, uh, and successfully so is also now aligning with China and Russia, so is Eritrea. So East Africa seems to be, you know, moving in a block <coughs> towards the Chinese and the Russians. West Africa is ditching the French. Hey, welcome to, uh, as a geopolitical question, uh, presented by uh, GMOSC as a class of profiteers, man. And uh, as this is from the Dulani, as the unknown, uh, going into uh, the geopolitical and the analysis seeing uh, worldwide, uh, seeing how uh, the Western world uh, is losing uh, ground, especially in Africa, uh, Middle East, uh, and the Far East, uh, Eastern Europe, uh, and uh, Europe itself, uh, without uh, forgetting the Caribbean. See, basically, which is that is Latin America. I uh, see, and uh, and uh, in this video, uh, they were specifically going to how uh, French, uh, which represent uh, as a wholesome of the Western world, uh, losing ground in Africa, and uh, they presented the fact uh, to the effect that. Uh, uh, 
the African leaders and their people, they have a sentiment uh, which uh, originate from slavery, and basically now they don't want uh, uh, the West right there uh, because they can uh, represent uh, what they were offering. Uh, we see an alternative of China and Russia. And uh, there was a video which was going around uh, the Israeli reporter, uh, I don't remember which country he got kicked out and he was embarrassed. You see, you have Museveni from Uganda, he's saying he ain't gonna allow uh, homos in his country. And basically, he's saying these people are lost, man. And I shared the video, you can go to my community and you can listen for that video. Uh, she, and, and this is your profession, man. It can uh, be filtered through uh, prophecy. Uh, she, and uh, actually, right now, uh, the Lord is building uh, Russia uh, to be an imperialistic empire. And not only that, he is building it to be a military superpower. And when you consider uh, America and Russia, they are both uh, known to be the land of the Norsemen. Uh, you see, but uh, they have two extremities. Uh, America is a merchant city, and Russia is a militarized empire uh, when you uh, really examine the characteristic of Russia throughout the Bible man uh, and how uh, the Russian get down and it was a uh, purposely uh, that way uh, uh, which uh, when you consider the history of Russia as a people in which they are Edomite but they are, they are, they are special Edomite in which uh, uh, see, they were created to bring about an end to their own empire. <laughs> and uh, the most shy how he did is he made the Russian go through a hardship. They faced uh, throughout their history, they faced a lot of existential threat as uh, so when you go to different uh, war, uh, she, the war in which was waged. Uh, which in a period, uh, she, and which is that uh, was known as the uh, Operation Barbarossa or Operation there was the Operation Barbarossa and the Operation I think it, it was the Waterloo or whatever man one of them uh, it was in a period and Hitler uh, she, they were trying to wipe out the Russian, uh, she, and uh, that made the Russian uh, she, uh, very hard uh, she, and, and uh, resilience uh, when it comes to war, uh, she, uh, when it comes to how their society is engaged in, uh, when it comes to these different wars, man. you see. And uh, before going any further, uh, I want to uh, give all the praise, honey and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha Kadashi, and Abuhana to the Elder, and the Apostles of Great Mason, who do well, a uh, peace, blessing, and uh, salutation uh, to you, Akiam, who are pushing these fools to the four ends of the heaven and uh, beyond the forefront of the spiritual war, uh, to make sure Jerusalem is established as a praise, a uh, union again as in the days of old. So, that was a quick history of, of Russia, but recently when you go to the Cold War, uh, she and how Russia was, uh, she, uh, their economy and uh, their military power, uh, she, until the Soviet collapsed, they tried to be democratic, but hey man, the Russian were not created to be a democratic, they were created to be imperialistic. That's where you get uh, she the two stem of capitalism and, and the communist. Uh, she so after the fall of the Soviet Union, the Russian failed uh, to be democratic. <laughs> That's why in the scripture specifically, when you go to the book of Ezekiel 30, she 
and verse 4 it say i will turn the back and put hook into thy jaw why is the lord saying that man because the Russian were trying to be uh, or feign to be uh, democratic, but the Lord will turn them back and put hook into the, 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 their jaws, uh, meaning what? They will go back to be imperialist. And uh, that brings me to another point, and that point uh, she uh, go hand in hand, we see uh, the present mathematics in the geopolitics, man. That is, the Russian have uh, she uh, took for themselves to invade Ukraine uh, under the pretext uh, she, of NATO uh, being an existential threat to them, and that goes back to their history. Uh, she, uh, she, uh, a lot of empire posed an existential threat to the Russian, uh, she, so they can't forget that. And I better believe uh, she, that is the first step in which. Uh, the Russian are taking to uh, build that uh, imperialistic empire and to become a, a military superpower. And uh, as the Mosia is presenting this obstacle in front of Russia, that's why you are seeing like Russia, they are failing. No, man. The Mosia is, is, is forging them through the fire, man. And that fire is uh, this progs war, so different progs war, and I better believe the Russian will fight a lot of progs war, uh, so this different progs wars, man, the, the Lord is building the Russia, man, to, 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 to that helm of, of, of being a military superpower, in which it is an extreme, another extreme of America, because America is a, is a, is a merchant city. Uh, she, uh, she, and, 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 and uh, as I was talking on the question of Russia being an imperialist empire, they are right now in Africa, as the Dulan we are saying. And, 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 and uh, so uh, what you call the juxtapositioning of the changing world order in which we are moving from the unipolar world in which it was ruled by America and uh, in the unipolar world, the people were at ease, and whereas the West where, 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 where the Western countries were ruling under the umbrella of America being the harm of the S. But right now, man, the Western world uh, and America uh, being their head, they are being taken out of the picture of the geopolitics. They are not the main player in the geopolitics right now, man. If America says this, China says that, man. And a lot of countries listen to China, man. And she, and there is a lot of history on why they are doing that, man, because they can't trust America. And that also is in the scripture. And she, because of the, the, the injury and, and, and the things they did, theft, murder, rape, and law, and she, and they can't be trusted. And it was said that way, man. And she, let me get that scripture. Mm-hmm. Let me mm-hmm. Let me do it like this. There's a scripture. I think it is in your desire. Since I know it is in Isaiah, Isaiah or Jeremiah, it is later end your sounds into that effect. Man. They didn't consider your letter end. Like this, I hate this man. 
our memory our memory mm -hmm. it is in Let me see. This is hard, man. There's a good scripture. A good scripture, I think it is in Isaiah, whatever, man. Let me see, dear man. Scripture is like he, uh, going like this. Esau did all what all what he did, but he did not consider his later end what it will be, what it will end to him. Uh, she, the same thing in which the thing in which Esau did all over the world uh, that was like a trap, man. Uh, she, in which it will come back and bite him. She in this last day. As a matter of fact, let me get another scripture, man. I remember another scripture. Actually. This is Habakkuk 2. I'll start with verse 5. It says, Yeah, so because he transgresses by wine, he's a proud man. Neither keep it as home who enlarge his desires. Hell, that's what Isa was doing. And the easiest destiny cannot be satisfied, but it gaze on to him all nation. Gaze on to him all nation to do what to oppress them, man. And he puts on to him all people. Shall he not always take up a parable against him, the nation he oppressed, man? Shall he not all the things in which Esau have done throughout the world uh, become a trap for him, man? And a taunting proverb against him. Say so what to him that increase that which is not his. How long into him that he loves himself with sick cry, man. And she, I'm going back to uh, to the geopolitical man. Uh, she saw as a Russian uh, opening another base in Sudan. Uh, the Chinese, I think they have opened another base in Eritrea. And uh, there was uh, an ongoing civil war in Ethiopia. I think the Russian have sol solved that in Tigray. The uh, South African, we are doing a naval, base, a naval exercise, a joint naval exercise with the Russian and the Chinese. Uh, Central African Republic with the Russian, Niger, Mali. And so forth and so forth. So the French, the, the, the British, uh, forget about the British, the British man, uh, forget about Germany. Uh, you people in the Western world, you actually think that you still rule. Over here, especially in Tanzania, and I'm speaking this way from my perspective, uh, people don't respect the white men now, man. they respect the Chinese. You see, one day we were talking with Jake, man, and, and uh, Jake was saying the Chinese got the money. Everything over here is Chinese. Everything is Chinese. I don't see any American made in the U.S. I don't see nowadays, man. Nothing like that, man. So you American, you, you are just a, a, a sitting duck, man. <laughs> you see? And then you will see here. Uh, you will see as, as we continue reading uh, in the book of Ezekiel. I uh, see... 30, and say, and all the armies 
hoses in a hose made all of them close with your sort of armor, even a great company with back and shield and all of them handling sword. Persia, Ethiopia, you see, the Persian, this was talking about the Iran, Esso, and then the Pakistani, the Afghan, Afghani, uh, you see, and then and, 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 the, 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 the Indian. Right now, the Indian are buying more oil. There was a news I watched yesterday, I think, or the day after yesterday. It was going to uh, the, the, the Indian. They called out America. There is an organization known as AUX. And, and I think India was invited to the G20. They called out the hypocrisy of the Western world, man. And they are buying more oil right now. And you see, the, 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 the video is actually entitled. India, uh, that is the Russian are winning. They have found found another another buy of oil. So India was buying oil, but they are buying more oil. And China wanna supply Russia with with with, with, with weapon. And I don't think if Russia need a Chinese weapon because according to prophecy, Russia is supposed to be a, a, a military superpower, man. And Libya, when you talk about Libya, we are actually talking about all the North African country, man. You see, Libya is not just Libya as a country, all the North African country, man. Like Morocco, Tunisia, and whatever. They hate you, the Western world, man. You Western uh, monkey, man. You see, when you talk about Ethiopia, we are talking about Eritrea. We are talking about Somali. We are talking about Yemen, man. When you talk about Ethiopia. You see, that's the land of China. You see, talking about Persia, we're not talking just about Iran, India, also Pakistan, Afghanistan, is Ghani, Ghani, all those countries. You see, all of them with shield and helmet. In Goma, when you talk about Goma, man, you're talking about all that region is there, man. And the house of Togum of the North Quarter and all his band and many people will be. Be so prepared. That's what the Russians are doing, man. And they are forging this alliance. Uh, through a, a, a natural resource, as I was going, uh, I I brought this back in the day. This alliance actually will be forged uh, through natural resources. When you consider all of these countries, this country are underprivileged, a country who have been oppressed by America, a country who uh, they were not considered in the, in the old new world order, but right now we are moving in the. In the, the the new world order, or the juxtaposition of the changing new world order, in which even this country, they will have a huge impact. Countries like Ethiopia, countries like Libya, that's what it is written in Ezekiel 38. But actually, Ezekiel 38 was going to the geopolitics, man. You see, so this is small country will have a huge impact on the geopolitics. I see. And this country have been underprivileged. So this country, what they will do is they will go for Russia for resources and protection, man. And which when you talk about the Russian, we are talking about China. You see? You see? Uh, they will go for resources and protection. And uh, actually in the scripture, Russia is called named bear. When you go and look that word bear, it simply means uh, uh, being sufficient or having an apparent strength. And why is Russia self-sufficient? Because they have a lot of resources. So they will provide this country with resources and a protection. Uh, because, that's, because that's why in verse 4 it talked about it. Uh, all short farmer. That is protection. You see? And, and, and at the same time, if you are protecting some, somebody, it simply means there are, there are resources. You can't just protect an empty house. You see, there are resources, man, resources in which Russia will share with this underprivileged country. And this last day, man, and this country will be ready to die for Russia. So the Ezekiel 38 alliance, this was going to the geopolitics, and this alliance will be forged through uh, natural resources, man. And, and uh, you, 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 Western world country, you are broke right now. You don't have the resources, man. Europe don't have the resources to give Ethiopia. You see, they can't even feed their own, their, their own people. That's what uh, the twist comes in, man. You see, like now America don't have the resources, man. They have with 
they have their debit have hit a debit ceiling man they are broke so to speak so this you this is this world order will change and shift to russia and, and china in this last day man you see so so let me bring ecclesiastic 3 he said to every thing there is a season and a time to every purpose and is heaven and now it is the purpose it is the time for russia to shine and this all of these countries are gravitating to russia because russia right now they have the resources and they have the, the the power to protect them so that alliance will be forged under that uh, 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 under that uh, 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 umbrella so to speak and china is in there I see the chinese are building what you call the bay and road initiative in which it will pass through Afghanistan. So before they, 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 they build that Lord and Bait initiative, which will pass through Afghanistan, they will provide Afghanistan with, 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 with what you call a, 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 a grant. Afghanistan, you have Lebanon, you have Iran. And China, right now, their policy is they, they are not allowed to deploy their army outside of China. But when they build this road and bait initiative, they will pass legislation to actually deploy uh, the army. That's where it, you, you have that uh, a scripture of, of uh, the flat river. That's where it, 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 it comes in. I went through this year, so uh, back in the day. Uh, she, so this is a book. Uh-huh. Revelation 16 and 12 says, And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river of flat, and the water zealous was dried, that is the way of the king of the east, and that is going to a, a main China. I see, as I broke it down, uh, China, like now they have what you call the Bay and Lord initi- Initiative, in which it will pass through the Middle East all the way to uh, Europe and Africa. So the Chinese, they have to protect that. And how do they protect that? By, by deploying the army. But right now, when you go to China, police they are not supposed to deploy the army outside of China to another continent. That's why over here in Africa, a lot of Chinese companies, and they are protected through a Chinese, China policy. They have their own, their, their own policy. Uh, I'm not talking about policy as, 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 policy as going to politics. They are Polish, or they are what you call in, 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 in the Western world, they have their own sheriff, a Chinese sheriff in Africa, actually. This is security, uh, let's use that as a word, they have their own security, Chinese security protects their company, because in their legislation they are not allowed to deploy the army. But right now they are changing legislation. They will deploy the army to protect what you call the, the Bay Road Initiative. And the Bay Road Initiative will pass through the Middle East. So this army will be deployed in the Middle East. You see, uh, in Lebanon, in Iran, Afghanistan, all this country in which there is Charles, man. Since the water there was dried up, that's the way of the king of the East might be prepared for. So, as soon as I hope you brothers will find the uh, on to the next uh, shalom.